Now I guess you want to make sure that you got a hat for your pool day. I don't wear hats, so that's a personal choice. Now, uh, sunscreen. Sunscreen, you want to make sure you got the 50 SPF um, because that is apparently the best, recommended by the Cancer Council and my mother. So I don't wear sunscreen, but I'll just show you how to apply it in case you do want to apply sunscreen. Now the whole body application is, is quite simple. You just want to make sure you got enough on your hands and then you just, you know, you just apply the hand method. Now there's no need to really like rub that in because what you want is you want to get the hand prints. Like you want people to know that you've been at the beach, um, particularly if you get your friends to do your sunscreen. You might find a rude word in sunscreen on your back. You don't realize you get sunburnt and you've just got a white swear word in your back. Now also, I guess the face application, I'll just show you really quickly in case you're interested in that. You want to make sure that you get it like in the eyes. Um, that's just what I've been told. If you've fully applied your sunscreen, what you want to do is just jump into the pool and wash it all off. The question I ask myself a lot is, how much tanning oil is enough? I don't think you can ever have enough. I wonder if you can die from sun overdose, vitamin D overdose. You can get tanning oil, and I think in Australia it's probably illegal to have tanning oil that doesn't have some SPF rating, you know, to protect you from the sun. But like, what's the point of having tanning oil? If it's got sunscreen in it just seems counterproductive you know but the main reason that I don't use sunscreen anymore is um, to piss off my mother I guess it's that like childhood teenage years of rebellion that she's told me a thousand times to wear sunscreen and it's just become ingrained into me not to wear sunscreen now for that reason and also I don't get sunburned I don't get sunburned. I guess the risk of skin cancer in Australia is, is like a really high risk, but the people that normally tell you to put sunscreen on have really white skin. And it's kind of like, well, you're more likely to get skin cancer even with your sunscreen than I am to get skin cancer without my sunscreen. I don't know what the UV index would be today, like six or seven, but it's hot. It's always about like 30 degrees flies like what is it with Australia and flies mosquitoes and flies are like the vein of my existence it's the only part of summer that I don't like I'll take sunburn any day over mosquitoes and and really annoying flies they get in your drink sometimes you swallow them I don't know if you've ever choked on a fly but it's ridiculous sometimes they get up your nose like if you haven't trust me it's not cool Blowfly. That's what I mean by blowfly. Like, can you see that? The other thing I guess you want when you're getting ready for your pool day is a towel, which I don't have. But that's all right. Now you want to make sure when you don't have your towel that you leave a nice trail of water in the house, particularly if if you just walk through the driveway because then. You know, you've got some dirt on your feet and um, you just leave footprints. So I finally got my towel necessary for any pool day. I'm just going to leave that one there. Purchasable from any Kmart. No need to go fancy. I guess it's really important to have some sunscreen too. Slip Slop Slap is a slogan that's been going on in Australia for like 20 years. Uh, slip, slip on some sunscreen. Maybe slip on no, slip on a hat, slap on some sunscreen, slop on some sunscreen, slap. I don't know, I don't know what it is. People always say to me like, you know, you'll get skin cancer and you'll die. It's like, well, you've got to die of something, right? It's like when people say to me, oh, you know, smoking kills you, right? It's like, is that a promise? I don't know. I never planned on getting old. I never thought that I would get old.